Right now, ladies and gentlemen, time to bring in Mike Cosi. Good morning there, Mike. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm really good because it's been three Sundays in a row since I've, uh, you know, free, of giant free losses. I mean, one Sunday they didn't play, and the last two Sundays they, they won. I mean, you know. So I, and that game yesterday was like Ringling Brothers. Uh, it was an interesting game to watch because I did watch the whole thing. But uh, uh, it's uh, Shaquan Barkley. He's, he's, if he doesn't get injured, this kid's going to be something special for the Giants. It really is. Yeah, he, uh, he can. He can. He he he's he's proven he can run against anybody. He's got what what are they? Uh, they're they've got what ten games under their belt or what? What is it? Uh, yeah, ten games under their belt. Each game he's he's produced more in between one hundred and twenty and one hundred and seventy yards. Uh, that's pretty amazing for a rookie. But How anyway. he produced against good teams? Well, he, he produced against what was on the schedule. He's done it every game. I mean, he can't do more I than that. I don't know. I don't watch the Giants. You do. I'm asking you a question. I don't know if there's any good teams in the NFL, to be quite honest with you. that they. But, you know, he does it against the schedule. And uh, and Well, have the Giants played the Rams or the Saints or the Bears? Well, they're going to play the Bears in a couple of weeks. We'll see. But you can't. Yeah, well, but that'll you can't, be a good measure and stick for him. No, you can't. Oh, that's bull. That's bull crap. You know, he's done it every game this year, and that's that, that's consistency, whether they whether they win or lose. But anyways, so the Giants went. How did we do with our picks? Two and one. Two and one. Who did I lose with? We both had the same picks. We both lost with the Chargers. Chargers. We got lucky with Pittsburgh, and New Orleans was a layup. Oh God, that was tough. Uh, Oh my God! Best was, team in football yeah. by far. Oh, by far, and 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 here's the whole thing: they used to have no defense, but now they've got a defense, and uh, they're, they're just, they used to be terrible away. They're five and zero oh on the road. They're, they're scary. They're just plain scary. If nothing changes, they they walk through the playoffs and win everything. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Horrible, horrible, horrible! What happened to the Redskins quarterback? Oh my God! Oh, it's part of the game. Yep. Uh, man, that's just horrible. Uh, but, but anyways, I was hanging out with a couple of friends of mine yesterday, so I watched more football yesterday than I watched all year. Um, they they might as well, like I said before, they just might as well put two twos on the quarterback because the calls that they make against defensive players touching the quarterback is just ridiculous. Um, you just touch the quarterback, no matter where he is, you're going to get a penalty called against you. It, it and, and it changes the games too. It, it's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And the pass interference calls, like I said, it just might as well make it a non-contact sport. All right. Uh, so that uh, so that's the case. And so who plays tonight? Uh, we don't even don't know. know. We don't even know. Hang on a second. Let me check. <laughs> I really don't. I only the two, either do I. Um, Kansas City and the Rams. The game. The game that was supposed to be played in Mexico canceled because of the caravan people didn't have tickets so they moved the game back to la all right uh, uh so kansas city and la uh bump, 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 bump. i'll take uh i'll take kansas city i'm taking the rams yeah, i i just figured I'd, I'd do something a little different there so anyway so so now what else do you want to talk about um i don't know <laughs> Ohio State got lucky this weekend. Oh my God! I watched that game. I watched that game. Lucky is is right, and the only reason they won is I give the coach of the other team credit. That's he went right. For two. He 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 tried to win the game. That's exactly right. And he had the right. game won, except the quarterback made a bad pass. Yeah. No, no, that's exactly right. I thought it was the right move, uh, but uh, they really exposed Ohio State. I tell you, Oof, what a what a game! What fifty? What, what was it? Fifty-one to fifty. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 52, 51, 50, yeah. 51, something like that. Yeah, well, I think you're right. You go for it. You're a college coach. You go for it in a game like that. And that was with the second string quarterback. Yeah. What a game. Had the, had the kid open. Would have won the game. It's a shame. Yeah. Oh, and uh, how ridiculous did Notre Dame's team look on the field on Saturday? Those uniforms were stupid. Those were stupid. You know, they tried to be the Yankees. They were stupid uniforms. Just wear your regular uniforms. Gosh. Absolutely. Well, which one? They got about 77 different sets. That was a home game for them. They should have wore the home game uniforms. Uh, there, there should be some, some rules to that where you just can't, you know. Well, you, you, no, anyways. I can't wait to Notre Dame plays Alabama or Clemson so they get exposed as the frauds that they are. 
because now they're going to play Southern Cal and beat them, and they're going to say, oh, well, we beat Southern Cal. Southern Cal stinks. They're terrible. They're not going to play a good team all year till they get to the playoffs, and they're going to get exposed. They're going to get a shellacking. They're either going to have to play Clemson or, no, or uh, Alabama in the first round, and they are going to get beat. If they have to play one of those teams, you're exactly right. This... They, that's who they have to play. Yeah. They're not going to be first or second because Alabama and Clemson has that locked up unless they get beat, which isn't going to happen. So Notre Dame's going to sit at number three, and they're going to have to play Clemson. They're not beating Clemson. Because last year when they played the first team that had speed last year was Miami, and Miami wasn't that good. The first team they played that had speed last year, Miami, destroyed them. And guess what? Clemson has speed, and they're going to beat Notre Dame again. All right. So uh, is there anything else we could talk about? Not a heck of a lot. No. Uh-huh. The uh, uh, the Knicks lost their I think fifth game in a row last night. Did they? Yeah, <laughs> five in a row. Five, F I V E. Five. Wow! Just the thought of Marshmallow being a free agent has them think have them shaken, huh? <laughs> look at these st- look at these standings in the basketball. Oh my God! The every team from the eighth down to last place has like a losing streak going. Losing two, losing two, losing four, losing five, losing seven. Oh, my God. You think that's How bad? bad is that? You think that's bad? Just take a look. Just take a look at, at, at the NFL standings. Just, I did. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's what it is. It is, a, it is a highlight to the mediocrity of the league. Well, it that's is, what they wanted. They wanted parity. I mean— <laughs> This is socialism in football. It's, it's the, what it is. The Redskins. Look at it. The Redskins. The Redskins are six and four, right? The two Giants. And eight, two and eight, three and seven, four and six, four and six, four and five, and six, four and five two and eight, four and six, three and seven, uh, three and six, three and seven, three and seven. There you go. It's it's amazing. I mean, uh, you've got the Bears at seven and three, and you've got the New Orleans Saints at nine and one, and the Rams at nine and one. But other than that, everybody's anywhere from three to three and seven to six and four. I mean, it's it's just, it's unbelievable. It's everybody just, else is playing in the La Brea tar pits. It's it's unbelievable. And when you, it, you go to the American Football Conference, all right, the Chargers are seven and three. They stink. It, yeah, but the the Chiefs are nine and one. The Houston Texans are seven and three, but that's a fake seven and three because the Giants beat them. Uh, so so that's not a real strong seven and three. The Steelers are a lucky seven and two. And the Patriots are seven and three, and not the Patriots that they used to be. I mean, it's it's you, you're right. If New Orleans stays healthy, they're going to walk right through to the Super Bowl. Oh God, it's going to be a disaster. Yeah. It's going to be like the days when the Cowboys and the 49ers were good playing the AFC and drubbing them. Yeah. That it's just going to be like a, a 55 to 10 game again or something. It's a, it's shaping up to be that way. Because Kansas City played 10 games already, right? Yep. Now starts their swoon, as they do every year. But you know what? The AFC might be just so bad that the swoon can't happen happens, this year. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I saw an interview with Cashman yesterday. Yeah. Oh, my God, it was comical. Why? Um, we love all our players, but we want as many good players as we can get. In other words, he's clueless. And every time that they asked him if they're going to sign uh, Machado or, or Harper, he danced around that like the Rockettes. So we'll see what happens. I mean, he was talking about, um, what's his name? The left fielder they got, the little guy? The oh, little bald-headed guy. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I forget his name. Yeah. As, as he's a catalyst on our team. <laughs> every Yankee fan I know hates the guy. <laughs> Well, all I know is that if Hal Steinbrenner has any sense at all, he's going to order them to take whatever money they want to spend because they're under the cap and spend it on pitching. (laughs) Well, who's the free agent pitching you're going to get? What are you going to get, Dallas Keuchel? I don't care. Then then trade some of your prospects and money, but try to get pitching. Try. See, Marshall, you just can't do that. I mean, you just can't say, okay, let's trade for a pitcher. 
Yeah, you you want to trade for a pitcher, but does the other side want to trade that pitcher? If there has get, to be two willing parties to make a trade. If you give you them, just can't say I want to trade. If you give that, them, the other side has to be willing to get rid of somebody. If you give them enough money, they might be able to. Nah, why would they? Because as soon as you lose that top pitcher, you're trying to replace him again, and unless you're getting something back that can replace that top pitcher, you're not going to do it. So you're going to have to give them a hell of a lot to get a starting pitcher because starting pitchers are at a premium. You've seen that this year. And with the way baseball is, who knows if the Yankees even want to get starting pitching. Maybe they'll go out and get themselves another six relievers where everybody pitches two innings a game. Who knows, who knows the way the, the baseball is going to go. All right. But to, to make a trade, you have to have two willing parties. Right now the only thing they can do is move on to free agents. There's not a lot of good ones. All right. Yeah, all right. Well, we have to go on to our free agent, Pat Pagano, with the weather. All right. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. We'll see how we do with our NFL pick. One of us is going to win. We hope. Okay. <laughs> unless it's yeah, a, maybe we'll get a tie again. Huh? That'd be funny. All right, Mike. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Uh, Mike Conzi uh, with a check on sports.